welcome to day one. Yeah. Let's call it day one. We're about to travel day, let's call this day one. So it is quarter past seven. We're just heading out any second um, to go onto the Skyliner, head off to um, Yacht Club. Yacht Club? Beach uh, Club. Yacht Club. Yacht Club. Yacht Club. Yacht Club. I always get them mixed up. Uh, to one of our favourite places for breakfast. Um, heading off on the Skyliner. After that, we're going to go into Epcot. We've got a couple of rides booked. We've got Soarin' and Test Track. We think it's Soarin'. Definitely trust the Test Track. Um, and then we'll try and get a few more on the way, um, obviously. And then after that, heading off to Target, get a few bits and bobs for the room. And then off to Panera Bread um, to start the holiday off on a healthy, healthy note, because after today is probably, that's it, that's it. Um, so let's try and keep it healthy just for today. So we'll see you in a bit on the Skyliner. Yeah. This resort is so stunning, so stunning. So it's took us literally what, about maybe three minutes to get from the room to this. Skyliner. So yeah, so it's not far, not far at all and we're just uh, walking to the Epcot one. Just so beautiful. It's just something else. You'll also find that when, uh, when we're out and about, this is a regular view. Me walking behind and um, Mr. Jim Bob in front leading the way. Every single time. Boarding the Skyliner. Where's the yellow, are we? It'll be a yellow one. just been enlightening me on um, he's, he's got a fun fact of the day and Mr Jim's fun fact of the day go <laughs> all right today's fun fact of the day is this isn't uh, the Disney World's first uh, Skyliner as such there was a smaller version of this that uh, was in Magic Kingdom uh, anybody out there that, that's obviously knows Magic Kingdom it, uh, it used to start where the, the tangled toilets are. To it used to run from there over to Tomorrowland. And that was removed. So can you still see where can you still see where it started then? Uh, you can't anymore, it's been replaced with all the tangled things at that end. Tangled toilets. Yes. We all know the tangled toilets. Yeah. <laughs> so there's yeah. nothing there that you can say, oh that was part of the No, not anymore, not anymore. Right, okay. And uh, but they weren't enclosed like these and uh, it was Supposedly closed originally because kids were throwing things out and spilling drinks and different things like that as, as it uh, went in the sky and obviously there was people underneath. So that was supposedly one of the reasons and that originally. Is Mr. Mr. Jim's fun fact of the day? <laughs> this is actually my favourite place to stop. Yeah. Boardwalk. You've got everything, you know, the transportation, the walk, the walk to the two parks, Epcot, and then you've yeah. got children. This is the best pool by, by miles, I believe, on Disney property. Yeah, let's go and have a look at that pool. So it's 
so the place that we're heading to is um it's called ale and compass now yes it was the what did it used to be called? Captain's Grill. Captain's Grill. Um, but towards it, it will always be known as Cheers Eric's. Yeah. Um, something that our son Taylor um, said when we were there once, when he were younger. Oh, uh, to the server, just Cheers Eric. It just seemed to stick. Um, so when we talk about this place, it, it, we always refer to it as Cheers Eric. So if we do, that's... Uh, that's the place we're talking about is the ale and compass so it is a really nice nice restaurant and they do open for breakfast dinner do they do a lunch uh yes i believe they do, now, do a yeah. lunch yeah, yeah so uh, everything's sort of opening up and getting back to normality whatever that is now uh, they do on here they do they do they have a campfire and they have a children's in the evening they show a Bloke screen, a big old outdoor screen on the on the yeah, beach on here. These, where these chairs floors, are. Yeah, we've done that a few times, haven't we? Yeah. And that's the uh, yeah. slide that we're just going to go under. Yeah, it's awesome for kids. Absolutely awesome this place. <laughs> really long like a sticky strip you pull that off the thing is i've had this t-shirt about 12 years never obviously never worn it well i hope i haven't because i've been on a hold with this t-shirt so i'm either thinking it's just traveled with me and i've not worn it or i've been wearing it like that but surely i would have seen it if i like washed and ironed it so i don't think i wore it obviously um but yeah i went out like that people saw me like that I must think I'm just like some sort of fool. So this is the buffet in um, Alien Compass and you help yourself to, to this. And I, you get this and then you order a, a, what they call an entree, so that's the main if you like. Um, so we'll show you then when, uh, when they come. So I'll just show you what they have. Some lovely fruits and Biscuits, um, which are actually skins. Sausage gravy, looks vile, absolutely gorgeous. Um, cinnamon rolls, all your various, various pastries and things, and your preserves, butter, and obviously fruit. So you know earlier when we mentioned about keeping it healthy, winter panera bread, having a salad, and all of that. Yeah, well, we miserably failed. Miserably. We didn't just fail, <laughs> we failed epically. Look at this. Oh my days. Sure, these are bigger than last time. I'm sorry. I'm sure, these are bigger than last time. <laughs> just a little. Well, that's us done in Ale and Compass. Cheers, Eric's. <laughs> um, so that came to 46. 44. 44. So the entree that we had was 12 99 or both 12.99. Um, but if you have it with the buffet, it's 23. And we've just been talking and saying, well, the amount that, that I eat off the buffet, it's a little bit of fruit, a little bit of yogurt. It's not really worth it for me. So in future, I'll just go for the entree and... Uh, yeah. However, though, don't forget that uh, your your drinks are included. Your coffees oh, and your yeah, orange yeah. juice and things are yeah. included when you're doing the buffet, but they're not. Yeah, and they keep. If you just have the entree. Ah, right. So, so if you just to have the entrees, to twelve ninety nine plus your plus your, your drinks and, and things. things. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah but it was but nice. Again, if you're only having one coffee. It yeah. Matter. And because it's Mother's Day today over here, yes, I get two. 
not. Um, I got a nice flower, can you see that? They give me a carnation. So, happy Mother's Day, everyone. Look at these. How cute are they? Yeah, over here, can the guy trim his bush up? <laughs> He's trimming his bush. Yeah, trimming, <laughs> trimming the old bush. <laughs> trimming his ass. Yeah. I mean, food and wine festival's great, but flower and garden, something else, isn't it? Oh, yeah, they, you know, it's all. You know, so, they, know, so they know how to do it, don't they? Let's go and have a look at these. Tick tock, tick tock. Feet pan. Hook. They're really good. It's taken flipping ages to do these. So we're just in, just in Canada Pavilion, doing a bit of shopping. So I like, I do like that. How much is that? That's twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five, and that is. That is thirty-five for 25. the ninety. <laughs> rough life. And, and twenty-five dollars again for that. I could rock that. Look at these ones, is. Look at them. Really furry, furry the bears on. <laughs> but these are the best ones because that's your back. It's and not. That's the back, which un undoes. <laughs> you know, you've got your flap at the back, and there's your front with the buttons down the front. Oh my god, it is. Look at the the neck. Yeah, there's the front. I thought you were having me on. No, no. Look, and it opens up so you can get inside. Look. <laughs> so is that if you need to go to the toilet? Yeah, yeah. And if you get caught short in the wild <laughs> and you want to do a wildy. <laughs> Ones face. Look at that. The button up at the Tiny. front, but they don't but they don't open at the back. Yeah. Oh those are nice. I like them. And don't forget we need to be looking for the giveaway prize that Kim told you about last night. You want one of these? <laughs> yeah, not today we don't. It's so warm. No. So warm. Don't make me go, go all maple on you. I love all the unique stuff they get, you know, in the, di in the um, different pavilions that you wouldn't get anywhere else. I like them. They're really nice. Well, they go with that. That vest top? That you know, vest top or whatever, don't I we? I don't yeah. think it's, is it? No, it's that's not necessarily just a vest set, top. But you, would, you could wear it with that. Mm, how, much is, how much are they? Look. It is $40. 40. On the bottom. I like them. The, uh, it's like a totem nice. pole with the. Yeah, look at that. Mm. Oh, I like them. I like those. And these are. How much are they? They're $7. Seven. I've not got my glasses on, guys. Can't see a thing. Just a. Just a touch on my past over here. Oh God! Yeah, they're not. I would say they're not. The same yeah, you didn't used to be a blacksmith. <laughs> no, but but I used to be involved yeah. in those. Yeah, James used to be a shoe designer. Um, spent many a year. What from sixteen to fifty? Uh, to fifty uh, fifty-four. So yeah, yeah thirty-eight years. Thirty-eight years. So yeah, designed yeah, for bright, designed for a few people. Um, who did you design for? Who did we make stuff for? Well, we made. Yeah. I did, I did no, who have you for, designed for? Well, we did some things for Victoria Beckham. Yeah. Some, uh, some boots for when she was on the catwalk. Yeah, she went. I think it was the first fashion um, London Fashion Week that she did. Yes, it wasn't for her. It was, she was modelling for somebody when she was in the Spice Girls. It wasn't her clothes. Yeah, she wore some sort of um, knee-high uh, red boots, didn't she? And green. There were, there were some, she was green hot pants. And, yeah, and, and a green. Some, I made her some snake, some real hands made snakeskin boots. I made it. Yeah, uh, and she had a green uh, vest top on, didn't she? Yeah. Like a knitted yeah. vest top, from yes. what I remember. Yeah. Long, 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 long time yeah. ago. And, uh, we did some for Lily Savage. 
Yeah, yeah some, and I bet you all tried them on. Bet some, well, they were, they were actually bigger than my feet, <laughs> so they're too big for me. Yeah, so there you go, a little bit of history of Mr. Jim. It's, it's really weird how people still take photographs outside of this. Because really in the UK we, we don't have them anymore. In fact, we have got one in our village and the phone's been took out of it and we use it as a little library. <laughs> it's really weird. Still have them, uh, but phone boxes, yeah. It's a library. <laughs> it's a tiny library. Uh, James has just been saying as well that we, uh, as we came in, I walked straight through. I'd got a bag on, uh, but it, it, I didn't get pulled. Um, but James got pulled and the guy was saying, he's really friendly, and he was saying that he will always get pulled because the bag that we've got um, has got two metal bars at the top um, to keep its shape. It's, it is a, a backpack, I'll just show you. So it is a backpack, but just along here is, is two metal bars along there. So they did say that every time he comes into a park, the chances are it will get pulled every time. So just think about that. Um, if you're buying a bag, um, try and get one that's not sort of metalized. We didn't, obviously we didn't realize, and we have used it before and it's been not a problem at all. But that's when they were doing the hand checks. Um, and also my umbrella in there pulled it up because obviously that's full of metal, so I'll not be bringing that again. But if it's still gonna get pulled anyway, makes no difference really. There's a bell. There's an end. Yeah. We'll, <laughs> we'll leave we'll that where we'll it is. It there. <laughs> yeah, we've just been uh, just had a photograph taken. The memory maker is it's on our passes, um, and she's just been saying they've got a like a plaque that you hold for when it's Mother's Mother's Day and celebrations. And she says, oh, "Are you celebrating Mother's Day?" And I says, "Well." You know, we're from the UK and I've already had a Mother's Day. Would it, would it be rude to have two? And she says, no, obviously, of course not. But you have to celebrate it where you are. And I said, yeah, that's what I told my kids, but they were having none of it. Not my fault I'm here. So anyway, we had the photograph taken. Just walking around Morocco, just coming into this area. It's so quiet and peaceful in here. You know, if you just wanted five minutes away from the crowds, it's really cool in here. Just really nice area to sit in. I don't think a lot of people know about it. I think you could easily just walk straight past it. Yeah, and it's mostly from the cover. Yeah. 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 So one of the things that I, I love about Disney, when you come around Epcot, you know, today it's, it's all about the food, it's not the food and wine this time, it's the uh, flower and garden, and yet there is still plenty of foods linked with everything here, where they've got all these, these vibrant plants in this Encanto area, they've also got a, a section of the food that uh, goes along with it. And uh, we'll just take a quick look on, on the grazing board, as they call it. This one's called Grazing Garden Graze. And there's uh, lots of different things on all these different areas. All This is all based around different uh, things that predominantly can be grown in the garden. And uh, each area has their own type of, type of menu. So this is a uh, boulangerie patisserie and we love all sandwiches in here and if you come at the right time you won't get that. That is the queue to get in. I've never seen I've never seen that. Never. It's normally a walk straight in. But I guess the word's getting getting out to uh, how, how good it is really. Some lovely things. You know if you go into each individual place, so we're in France now, so obviously it's all the Remy stuff. Um, yeah, can't see them selling many That's of them. Thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah. But it lights up, doesn't it? Uh, oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's got a light. It's lights and there's a sound in there as well. Because who doesn't need a chef sat with the lights and sound? Well, let's see if it lights up. So you've got a jacket there, a little sweatshirt jacket, fifty four ninety nine. I really like that. I do like that. 
and that is 39.99. I've got my glasses on now, guys, so I've, uh, I'm all seeing. Got my lookers on. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's so cute. That's nice. But obviously everything is Remy in here. Everything. I'm going to make it back. Oh yeah. Are you going to make it? So this is actually a new area to us. Uh, it wasn't open last time we came. It was um, under construction. So we are just heading to the Ratatouille ride. We managed to get a pass for that. So we're just going to head there now. too much away because obviously uh, if you're coming out you want it to be a surprise like I did actually I didn't watch anything on it um, yeah it was really good a few <laughs> a few unexpected Easter eggs in there that we weren't expecting yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I, really, I really enjoyed it yeah it's obviously a family I ride, mean people so. have people have come off it and gone yeah you know I won't wait for it or I won't wait a considerable amount of time uh, I wouldn't wait a considerable amount of time, but we've we've done it via the DAS Pass, which we'll go into a bit more detail um, about to um, work that on the day. Obviously, it has to be um, done from the. Well, you don't need to do it from the UK. We did. We did. It's but you beneficial. can do it. You can do it when you get out here. But it's more. It's yeah. beneficial yeah. to do it before you arrive. So I'll go into that a bit more in a bit more detail for, for people that are using the DAS Pass. Um, and I'll go into a bit more detail yeah, of, of why we are using the DAS Pass. Oh, really? um, so, I'm just Maybe heading over to, where are we going? We're off to Test Track. Oh, yeah, test so Track, okay. Big... Not a big fan of this ride, I've got to be honest. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't mind the ride. It's that just that end bit, you know, where we got <laughs> when it was really fast. I'm a bit of a girl when it comes to things like that, but I, I do it. Um, Shane likes it. Um, yeah, and you know what? It's what the thing about Test Track is. It's actually the fastest ride in any Disney park in the world. Oh, People is that one of Mr. Jim's? That's one of Mr. Jim's fun facts. It is, yeah. <laughs> Not everybody realises because it's you know it starts off really quite slow and. Um, but the external bit, it, it's 65 mile an hour, which is the fastest of any, yeah. any ride in any Disney park. Yeah. So uh, we're heading over there now. You know, before we came out here, um, obviously today it's 777 days since we were last here. Um, and I did promise myself that when we came out, we'd, we'd just sort of more smell the coffee if you like because you you do come out here and you if you've been out before and a, a few times you do get a little bit complacent and you rush from here to there and I promised myself this time that I wouldn't do that because you really do have to take it in um, I look at it as a, it's, it's a privilege to be here and well you just don't know in the last couple of years when that can just be took away from you and, and just looking at this you know 
the detailing that Disney go to. Well, that's just a day Disney vacation um, club um, sort of check-in place that you'd, you'd go and inquire, like I guess services if you like, for, for DVC. And it, it could have been a... a seems got a fireplace in there. Yeah. It, so it looks like a log cabin. Yeah. You know, and they didn't have to do that. It's just the little things. And James has just pointed out that just um, on the, the walkway, there's some like picket fencing and they've got like a um, a, what, maple a maple leaf. leaf just cut out on it. You know, and it's, it's the little things that you've just got to sort of stop and take note of. So when you, when you come, a little bit of advice. Just, you know, chill your beans. I know tickets are a lot of money and you want to get the best best out of your day, but I think that sometimes you've just got to just slow it down and just be in the moment and just look at your surroundings and appreciate them. Right, I'm going to get off my eye horse now. Optimise the shape. Okay guys, so let's let's just remember that he was a shoe designer and not a car designer. But I'm leaving it completely up to him. No, I've just gone for a classic. Chasing for power test. in my next car. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my days. That's really beautiful. The history of mankind. Space exploration. I know you're probably feeling a little nervous right now, but don't worry. Every astronaut has felt that way at one time. Congratulations, team. You have been selected to train for a mission to Mollison Up. Here are your assignments. Pilot, on my signal, I'll need you to trigger the second stage rocket. You'll also deploy the shields. Well, I guess that's everything. Good luck, Mars team. You are on the clock. Pilot, the X-2 is an excellent ship. All you have to do is fire the second stage and deploy the shields. Black. 
to the astronaut corps. seeing everybody else's reactions that haven't been on it. You can can hear all the kids who win and are in. And I've never known the smells be as strong as that. Now, whether that's us not taking more note of the yeah, ride true. rather than the other things, or yeah. whether, whether Or it could be where it. you just sat as well. Yeah, um, of course. Could be something to do with that. Um, yeah. We had a row of feet, didn't we? We were on B, but we had a row <laughs> of feet. I'm still very much the original serving, and no, you're the new serving, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. So, we do have yeah. a, a bit of conflict there, if you like, but uh, in the nicest possible way. Yeah, we, you know, we do love it. It's, uh, it's a nice, yeah. relaxing, chilled ride. So we're just going to head now and have a look at the new shop that I believe is called Creations, which is the new Epcot shop. They're quite nice, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, yeah. When you're going Some around the park too, it's uh, merch for the flower and garden. Plenty of it. The yellow bird. Spirit jersey. Yeah, not for me, yeah. No, well, it's not for me to be fair, they're quite nice. How much are they? Pass holder. So they're pass holder cups, mugs, twenty dollars. Mm. Quite nice on the other side as well. Yeah, yeah, not for me. Sure, somebody will like it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's about right. Yeah, I like. Mm, I like them with a bit of something on, but not like overly. Yeah. This one's nice, round here. 
Right, um, gone, so that's the 50th. Yeah. It does have quite a bit on the back. Yeah, but it's not really brightly coloured, all different colours, is it? It's just, it's, yeah, it's you've just got two colours. I like that, it's 75. Yeah. Alright, that might be coming home with me. Not really kids one. <laughs> yeah, definitely not kids, that one. Kids one will, you know, they're only 50. The room oh, is yeah. cued with, with the Disney characters on. That's unique. How much is that? It's $20. 20. I will nice, come yeah. Obviously, don't forget that we're looking for football giveaway. Homewares. Favourite place this is. I would stay here all day. Just look at this. How amazing is this section? Loving this section. That's a nice little uh, tribute thing. Home, is me home with the Probably not throw, I bet it's heavy down. Yeah, fairly heavy. Well. Mm. It has the black inside there. How much are they? These, these are 20. 20. There's a 50th anniversary one that's black and gold that's this shape. Loving this candle. $34.99 Who actually needs that much liquid? <laughs> it's a That's a lot of pancakes this What are you showing me? What about this with that pack? That's, that's, the, that's quite nice That's the Epcot mm. for design Backpack zips up on the top and the, uh, the zips are quite funky The design again is just like the... Mm. And no metal bar yeah. on the top No Shouldn't get stopped with that. $60 that is. A running jacket with all the Epcot multi like down the side. Mm, that's quite a nice. That's $60. Mm. Got a, yeah. a good length. I really like these. I do like that jacket though. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Same shape as their mothers, mm, and it's the 50th like design. It's, it's the 50th style. Yeah, I don't Disney. like it. But that's an extra ten dollars more than that one. I it's do the like them other ones. Yeah. Just popped into DVC Lounge. We really just need to sit down. Forgot to tell you this morning, guys, um, that we um, went to bed at ten o'clock last night, which will have been about. Um, well, three o'clock UK time. So we really, really did well to be fair because normally we're in bed at eight o'clock. Um, so we thought, oh, well, you know, we might, there's a, a good chance that we'll sleep in a little bit longer than we normally do. Not a flipping chance. Half past two. Half past two, we were ready to get up. Um, just laid there for a bit and eventually fell back to sleep, but we were up at five. So we're written a bit of a wall now. So. We've just come in and got some snacks and things and it's a really good idea, it's a DVC lounge. Um, but actually my feet are just saying, you know, give me a massage, but I'm not going to get that here. No. It's not something they offer, they should. So we've come out to the most, well, the second most happiest place on earth. So we're in Super Tarje. could spend complete fortnight in here. Look, I love this place. Just the different things that they do. I mean, look at all these. I mean, I'm putting pounds on, just just looking at these. Look at that. Yeah, just put half a stone on. Right, where's Mr. Jim? Oh, I see you. What are you doing? Tell me the watermelon. Okay. 
that's what he's up to then. Also, have you seen the state of me here? Have you seen what I'm carrying? I feel like I'm on bloody Cracker Jack. I don't know where he is with that trolley. Does anybody else else been do that? Get to the supermarket and they just go on walkabouts. You see a look in the distance. Where have you been, Mr. Jim, all my life? I've been looking for everything. <laughs> I thought you'd gone back to hotel. <laughs> You're a bit stacked up there, girl. I got them instead of waiting for the cookies for a change. Oh, they the sound nice. Yeah. Mm. And they're only little, so they're not. Yeah. Look at yeah. these. Has anybody else actually been down the aisle, the biscuit aisle, the cookies, got to the Ore Oreos, and somebody's literally lost their pants? Hmm. Right, I think we're on the last lap. Wow. <laughs> Does anybody need that much cheddar? I don't know. Obviously, somebody needs that much cheddar. But I suppose they, they do use a lot of cheese over here. I'd love to use a lot of cheese, but my hips won't lie. Oh, what a day. Back in the room now. Um, sound like Paul McKenna. Is yeah. it him that says back in the yeah. room? Yeah. Well, actually, we're back, we're on, out, the, back, back on the balcony. We're outside the room. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been a it's been a bit of a full on day to say it's been a first day. We're normally in the park, sort of in and out. Um, but today we've um, we're quite it, we're we're in there a while, weren't we? Yeah, yeah best part of five hours yeah. today. It's, uh, you know, we don't normally do that. Much. Certainly on the first day, we use the selfie. Mm, and then on the first day, we always go and do a bit of shopping. So we've been to uh, Target, as I said earlier, um, and bought quite a bit of um, crap. Yeah, as you <laughs> like do. you as do. You do. <laughs> it's yeah. not crap at all. <laughs> yeah. So it's day one and I'm panicking how we're going to get stuff home, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, how's the day gone? Do you know what, I mean we were going to do um, an extra a bit on the, the um, DAS past the disability um, access, um, we're going to do a bit more on that because it's, it's, I panicked a bit when we first come out on Genie Plus and all that like everybody's panicking at minute, there's no fast passes and things but you know what in our opinion we don't think that if if you've got the DAS pass that you need Genie Plus if you're on it you can it, you can make it work for you without having to do the Genie Plus it's it's not needed but we'll we'll go into that more in more detail um, on a day where we're um, not doing as much and we're pretty much wrapping this this vlog up for today really um please like and subscribe um also did you hear the movie quote today um it was there um so like i say don't but uh, don't do anything with that until uh, until day 15 when we, when we get home um not sure of plans tomorrow as yet we'll fill you in a bit more detail in the morning but we're just going to call it a day a bit of relax and since we were up at half past two this morning shoot me now um it's going to be an early night isn't it yeah it's going to be an early yeah, night. I, mean, it's, I mean it's nice that's out here on the balcony yeah. where it's really in the in the full sun yeah this mountain time so the sun goes down and it's still and i'm hitting a wall now yeah still 28 um out here so it's, yeah. it's really nice so yeah it, as i say hitting a wall so we'll see you in the morning Thanks for following along. If you've stuck with us through today, that's great. Hope to see you tomorrow uh, for another fun filled day. Yeah. Drop a bit. <laughs> Drop a bit. It'll do my last with that. <laughs>